what month of the year has the fewest letters? If you can answer this and a bunch of other questions, maybe you've got what it takes to... And here's your host, a man whose judgment won't suffer when his wisdom teeth are removed, Rob Edward Thank you, everyone, and thank you, Maria. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Make the Grade, the game show that pits three kids against our board in order to win cash and prizes. But before we take a look at the board and the subjects that we're going to be dealing with today, let's meet our players for today. Hi, players. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi we have uh, Wayne in the red square. <laughs> Wayne, you play baseball? Yep. Do you play uh, for a little league or a school team or both or? Uh, well, I play for a league that has a baseball field the size of a major league field. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like the major leagues, but not really. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. What uh, position do you play? Um, pitcher and outfield. Which one's your favorite of those two? Pitcher. Pitcher? You ever strike anybody out? I struck a few people out, even though I've only pitched like two games. Hey, then you must be doing pretty good yeah. so far, huh? Yeah. What's your uh, favorite major league uh, pitcher? Um, or do you have one? Roger Clemens. Yeah? You yeah. think you'd like to pitch for the Major League someday? Yeah. What team? Red Sox. Red Sox. Yeah. You replace Roger Clemens, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, good luck to you, and thanks for being with us. Next, we have Joey in the green square. <laughs> Hi, Joey. Hi. What do you like to do when you're not playing Make the Grade? Annoy my sister. <laughs> <laughs> you like to you like to annoy your sisters? Why do you like to annoy your sisters? Because she picks on me. She picks on you? What do you, what do, you do when you annoy her, huh? Well, I tell her to get out of the bathroom because she doesn't look any better when she comes out than she does when she goes in. <laughs> she might be watching. <laughs> Who's the oldest? Who's the oldest? You? <laughs> My sister. Oh, she, uh-oh. <laughs> well, that's okay. So tell me, wait a minute. Before we go on, I want you to tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? The president of the United States. Okay. <laughs> good luck to you. Okay, boy, that'll be great to have one president, huh? Well, good luck to you, and thanks for being with us. Next, we have Jason in the blue square. <laughs> Hi, Jason. Uh, Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're into sports, right? Yeah. What bit. sports do you play? Football, and I like swim a lot. Yeah, which one's your favorite, swimming or, or uh, football? Probably swimming. Probably swimming? Yeah. Yeah? Do you, are you a swim team? No. No? What about football? You're in a football team? Yeah, a little bit every now and then. At the recreation department. Oh, I see. So this is like, uh, just, it's not really a team, but it's when you go there, you guys, uh, yeah, you guys use... Yeah, we use pads and everything. Oh, so it's like the real thing, now, huh? Yeah. What position do you play? Um, center. Oh, man. You get trampled <laughs> on, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You don't seem too uh, sad about that, huh? Think you'd like to play uh, pro ball someday? No, nah, not really. No? <laughs> nah. You don't like being trampled on, right? Okay, before we go on, though, I want you to turn around and let everyone see your rat tail. Look at that, how long that is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> how long did it take you to grow that? About a year and a half. Yeah? Your friends pull on it? Yeah, well, Isn't that annoying you? Oh. No, not really. No? It's like, just pull it on my head. Well, yeah, come on. Give me a break. <laughs> well, good luck to you, and thanks for being with us, and good luck to all of you. Let's talk about how the game is played. As you can see, our board has seven subjects and seven grade levels. Our subjects for today will be home economics, English, history, science, geography, current events, and the human body will be our special elective for today, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. In order to win the game, you must answer at least one question in each subject and one in each grade level. Now, you can do that in any pattern that you desire, whether it be diagonally, randomly, or straight across and up and down. If you're the first one to do that, then you'll win $500 and go on to the honors round, where you have a chance at another $600 and a great grand prize. But first, before we get there, I'm going to tell you guys, looking real happy, I want the money, I want the money, I want the prize. <laughs> but I have to tell you, some of those, behind some of those question squares, we've hidden some wild cards, and some of those include the famous Make the Grade fire drill, which, as you probably know, could change the course of a game at a moment's notice, and I'm just giving you a little precaution there, okay? Nothing to be afraid of. In the meantime, uh, Joey, you've won the right to go first, so pick a square and get us started on Make the Grade. Geography, 12th grade. 
Geography, 12th grade is going to kick it off. Good luck to all of you. What were the Virgin Islands named before the United States acquired them? Okay, go ahead, Joey. Hawaii. That is incorrect. Uh, Wayne and uh, Jason, I'll read it again for you. What were the Virgin Islands named before the United States acquired them? Anyone? The Danish West Indies. That's what we're looking for. Okay, go ahead, uh, Joey, you're still in control. Science Elementary. Science Elementary? When a glacier breaks up into the sea, what are the blocks of floating ice called? Okay, go ahead, uh, Wayne. Icebergs? Icebergs, that's right. Okay, Wayne, go ahead. Um, history, so seventh grade? History, seventh grade. In 1918, what transportation was used for the first time to deliver mail? Okay, go ahead, uh, Joey. The Pony Express. That is uh, incorrect. I'll read it again. Okay, Jason. Railroad. That is also incorrect. I'll read it for you once more. Wayne, in 1918, what transportation was used for the first time to deliver mail? Okay. Um, plane? An airplane, yes. Very good. Okay. Go ahead, Wayne. Um, I'll take home economics for eighth grade. Home economics, eighth grade. Which of the following is sometimes used as a substitute for toothpaste? Baking soda, pepper, or cinnamon? Okay, Wayne. Baking soda? Baking soda, yes. Can't imagine using pepper <laughs> to brush my teeth. Okay, go ahead. Um, mm, good. English, right, ninth? English, ninth. In Washington, D.C., what does D.C. stand for? Okay, go ahead, Joey. District of Columbia. District of Columbia is correct. <laughs> Go ahead, Joy. Geography Elementary. Geography Elementary. Oh, Joey. That's one of our... <laughs> that's one of our lose squares. You have to lose that one you just got, but you're still in control of the game. Geography 8th grade. Geography 8th grade. The leprechaun is part of what country's folklore? Okay, go ahead, uh, Jason. Ireland. Ireland, that's right. Okay, Jason, you're on the board. Go ahead and pick another one. Mm, English for ninth. English, ninth grade. Name the poor poet in literature with a big nose who loved Roxanne with all his heart. Okay, go ahead, Wayne. Steve Martin? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was the movie, but we're looking for uh, someone in literature. Uh, I'll read it again for Joey and Jason. Name the poor poet in literature with a big nose who loved Roxanne with all his heart. Anyone? Cyrano de Bergerac. We're looking for it. That was good, though. Wayne, that was good, because that was, you're thinking of the movie, that's the idea. It was based on Cyrano de Bergerac. Okay, go ahead, uh, let's see. Jason, you're in control. English for eighth. English, eighth grade. In the book, what appeared when Aladdin rubbed his magic lamp? Okay, go ahead, Joey. A magic genie. Yes, a genie. Okay, we're all on the board now. Go ahead, Joey. Geography for seventh. Geography, seven. The White Cliffs of Dover are in what English-speaking country? Wayne. England? Great Britain in England is correct, yes. Okay, go ahead, Wayne. Um, current events for ninth grade? Current events, ninth grade. Okay, Wayne, that's a free one. Okay. You get that one for free. You don't have to answer the question, but you do get to pick another square. Um, the human body for 10th grade. Human body. This is our special elective. The questions and answers in this category are about the human body. 10th grade. What part of the eye gets smaller when you turn on... Okay, go ahead, Joy. The pupil. The pupil is correct. <laughs> what... Part of the eye gets smaller when you turn on the light, and that's the pupil. And that's our buzzer ending round one. When we come back, some more of Make the Grade in round two after these messages.
More fun to come as we get into round two on Make the Grade. Hello again, everyone. We're back on Make the Grade, and we're going to get started with round two in just a moment. <laughs> but first, we're going to take a look at our player's progress. Wayne in the red square is leading the pack. He has five subjects and four grade levels. And second is Joy in the green square. She has two subjects and two grade levels. And at a close third is Jason in the blue square. He has one subject and one grade level. But we still have lots of questions. We have a fire drill up there somewhere. Anything can still happen. The game is not over yet. Just a little reminder before we get started, if no one has completed the board by the end of round two, the person who comes closest to doing so will be determined the winner and go on to the honors round. But like I said, we have lots of playing to do. And Joey's going to pick a square and get us started again. Geography Elementary. Geography Elementary. What city is nicknamed the city of brotherly love? OK, Joey. Pittsburgh. That is incorrect. OK, uh, I'll read it again for Wayne and Jason. What city is nicknamed the city of bro brotherly love? Philadelphia, Joey. We're looking for the city. <laughs> OK, go ahead, Joey. You're in control. The human body, seventh grade. Human body, seventh grade. And what part of the body are the tonsils located? OK, Jason. Throat. The throat is correct. OK, Jason. Go ahead and pick another one. Mm, human body, 12th. Human body, 12th grade. The absence of what substance in human hair causes it to become gray? OK, Joey. Calcium. That is incorrect. Oh, Wayne and Joey, I'm sorry, Jason. The absence of what substance in human hair causes it to become gray? Pigment, color, that's what we're looking for. OK, uh, go ahead, uh, Wayne. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Jason. Body for 11th. Body for 11th. What tube in the body transports food to the stomach? OK, go ahead, uh, Jason. The, um, God, I can't remember. Come on. Jeez. Oh, boy, that was a little late. I'll read it again for Wayne and Joey. What tube in the body transports food to the stomach? Esophagus. Esophagus. OK. Uh, let's see. Go ahead. You're still in control, Jason. History for 12. History 12. Jason. Oh, it's one of our, it's one of our lose squares. Which one are you going to get back? Um, geography 8. OK. Geography 8 is going to go back on the board as a question. But you're still in control. Pick a square. You have a chance to get it back. Well, geography A. OK, you're going to go for geography A. Uh, if you drove the shortest route from Florida to Texas, name one of the states you'd have to pass through. OK, go ahead, Joey. Alabama. Alabama is correct. <laughs> Mississippi and Louisiana are the other two. OK, go ahead, Joey. Science for seventh. Science seventh, convex mirrors magnify images. What do concave mirrors do to images? OK, Joey. Make them larger. That is incorrect. Uh, Wayne or Jason? Go ahead, Wayne. Make them smaller. Make them smaller. That's right. OK. Go ahead, Wayne. Um, I'll take English for 10th. English, 10th grade. How do you spell zoology? OK, go ahead, Wayne. Um, Z-O-O-L-O-G-Y. That's correct. <laughs> OK, go ahead, Wayne. Um, history 11th. Uh, history 11th. What US government office did Calvin Coolidge hold between 1923 and 1920? <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Jason. President. President. Between 1923 and 1929, who's the president? Go ahead, Jason. Um, home for 10th. 
Home for 10th. And that's a take. Okay. Jason, you get to take one of your opponent's squares. Which one shall it be? Current events, ninth. Current events, ninth grade. It's going to go from red to blue. Okay. Jason, you're in control. Okay. I'll go home for 10th, I guess. Home economics, 10th grade. What article of clothing is a derby? Go ahead, Jason. Hat. Hat, yes. That's right. Jason, go ahead. Um, science for 12. Science, 12. When snakes shed their skin, what is the process called? Anyone? Molting. When snakes shed their skin, it's called molting. Okay, uh, let's see. Jason, you're still in control. Science for ninth. Science ninth. What dilute form of acidic acid can also be used as salad dressing? Okay, Joey. Vinegar. Vinegar. That's right. Well done. Okay, Joey. Go ahead. History ninth. History ninth. Martin Luther King Jr. and Robert Kennedy both were victims of what tragedy? Okay, Joey. Assassination? Yes, they were both assassinated. Shame. Okay, Joey, go ahead. Current events, 11. Current events, 11th grade. Name the host of ABC's Nightline. Okay, Jason. Tom Brokaw. No, that's incorrect. Uh, Joey or, or Wayne, the host for ABC's Nightline. Okay, Joey. Dan Rathers. No. Uh, Wayne, you want to give it a shot? Go ahead. Um, Peter Jennings. Peter Jennings is also incorrect. Uh, looking for Ted Koppel here. That's who we're looking for. All those were good guesses, though. Okay. Uh, go ahead, Joey. Current events, 10th. Current events, 10th grade. What U.S. president testified in the trial of the Admiral John Poindexter. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan, who we're looking for. Okay, Joey, you're still in control. History elementary. History elementary. What major international war started in September 1939 with the German invasion of Poland? Okay, go ahead, uh, Jason. World War II. World War II, that's right. Boy, we're all doing so well. Okay, Jason, go ahead. Okay, um, English for eighth. English, eighth. Can't do it. Geography, tenth. Geography, tenth. Harrisburg is the capital of what state? Okay, Joey. Pennsylvania. What's that? In time? Yes, Pennsylvania. That's right. Ooh, man, that was close. <laughs> okay. Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, go ahead, Joey. Home economics, elementary. Home economics, elementary. Espresso is a type of what caffeinated beverage? Okay, Joey. Coffee. Coffee. Very strong coffee. Okay, Joey, you're in a roll here. Seventh grade, current events. Current events, seventh grade. And that's a take. Okay, Joey, you get to take one of your opponent's squares. Which one shall it be? Um... Current events, ninth. Current events, ninth grade. It's going to go from blue to green. Okay, go ahead. That's our buzzer, ending the end of the game. We have a winner. It's going to be Joey in the green square. Okay. <laughs> Joey, you're our winner today. You have won $500. You're going on to the honors round where you have a chance at another $600 and a great grand prize. But first, we're going to say goodbye to our runners-up, Wayne and Jason. Thank you very much for being with us. We're not going to send you home empty-handed. We have $50 for each of you. 
and some consolation prizes that Maria is going to tell us about right now. Tell us, Maria. Okay, Rob, each of our runners-up received for Nintendo acclaimed Double Dragon 2 The Revenge, two-player head-to-head action, nine incredible missions, and non-stop martial arts excitement from acclaim. And Maneuver's Clothing. Maneuver's Clothing for Boys, because boys will be boys. Maneuver's, yours from Make the Grade. Back to you, Rob. It was close, but Joey came out on top when we come back. The honors round right after these messages. It's time to get smart for the honors round on Make the Grade. Hello again, everyone. We're back on Make the Grade with Joey, the future president of the United States. <laughs> and you never know, your annoying sister might be your vice president. <laughs> but uh, in the meantime, you're a champion for the day. You've won $500, and you're going to go on to the honest round to win $600 and a great grand prize. But first, I'm going to tell you how it's done. You have three categories from which you're going to choose one. You have 45 seconds to answer seven questions in that category, and your choices for today are going to be fill in the blanks, good guys and bad guys, and white things. Which ones do you like? White things. White things, OK. Fill in the blanks, good guys and bad guys out of here. White Things has been divided into seven subjects. Answer one question in each subject. You win $600 and a great grand prize that Maria's going to tell us about. Tell us, Maria. Joey, you'll be going to Universal Studios Florida, home of Nickelodeon Studios, where you can ride the movies, live the action of blockbuster movies at the largest motion picture and television studio outside of Hollywood. And you'll be staying at the Buena Vista Palace, Florida's most fun-filled vacation resort. Enjoy swimming, electronic game room, and kids' stuff camp for kids, all at the Buena Vista Palace. Good luck. Okay, you know how the game's played? Put this kid's head in the box and we'll get started. Art, what color is Betty White's hair in the TV series The Golden Girls? Pass. English, what rabbit does Alice chase in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? The White Rabbit. Yes. Geography, tundra found at the North and South Poles is typically what color? Ice, white. Yes. Uh, home egg, what white fluid comes from cows and is common is a common breakfast beverage. Milk. Yes, music. The keys on the piano are black and what color? White. Yes, P.E. Yardage lines on a football field are marked off by what color chalk? White. Yes, science. What white bone-like tissue is used to chew food in the mouth? Teeth. Yes, arch. What color dress does Wilma Flintstone usually wear? White. Yes, there it is. With, <laughs> With time to spare. <laughs> For time to spare, she's got seven of them right. <laughs> you won $600 plus, plus $500 from before. That's $1,100 and the grand prize. Give her a hand, everyone. Okay. That's $1,100. Okay, just a moment. We have someone I want you to meet. But in a moment, we're going to do that. We're going to see you next time on... What month of the year has the fewest letters? May. Did you make the grade? This is your announcer, Maria Melito. Hey, Rob, I hear Joey's sister's looking for her. Guess who's here? See you next time. Make the Grade was produced before a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida.